Hi everyone, my name is Brandon, and if you've ever watched a Blender tutorial, you've probably seen how the keystrokes pop up on the screen. It can be very helpful for people to follow along. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's done with a with a free add-on called Screencast Keys. Now, although it's a free add-on, it does not come with Blender, so you need to download it from GitHub. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get it. So go to GitHub, look for the most current version. You're going to download the screencastkeys.zip. And it downloads. Now you want to find a place on your computer for your add-ons. Just drop it in there. There's no need to unzip the file. Come back into Blender. We're going to install this file by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and Install. So navigate to the file where you dropped the zip screencast keys, Install Add-on. Now if you search your add-ons for Screen, you'll see screencast keys here check it on. I always like to save my preferences right here. So now, how do we use it? Press the in button and it'll bring up your sidebar and down at the bottom you'll see this new section called screencast keys. Click on that and the top button, screencast keys, you check that box and that will actually turn it on. So if I scale this, if I do things, you'll see down here in the bottom left corner this little mouse and the keystroke showing up. There's some settings on here you can play around with. Uh, you can change the color of it. Sometimes that's helpful to make it stand out. The shadow, I've never found that useful. The uh, background, you can add some contrast to it so it stands out a little bit more. Font size can change. It can go from 6 up to 48. I like to keep it um, a little bit larger usually. And you can change the size of the mouse. The origin, uh, I usually just keep it on region, but there is one thing in here. If you select cursor, um, it'll actually follow your cursor around the screen. You might find that handy, but I usually keep it on region. Um, set origin, you don't need to worry about that. The alignment, it can be left, center, right. The offset just moves it. This one moves it in and out from left to right, and this one moves it up and down, so you can kind of have some control over where on your screen it goes. The display time is how many seconds a keystroke will stay on here. So if I scale this, the letter S will stay on my screen for three seconds. I can make it stay there longer by increasing the display time. The max event history is how many of those keystrokes will stay on at a given time. And then there's a few settings down here you can play around with. Um, you may not want the mouse on there. You can turn that off. Some different display stuff. So if you wanted the, instead of just showing the letter, you could actually have the um, words and the command written out there. So just play around with it. But in short, that's how you get it installed and use it. It can be very helpful in tutorials. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful at all, or you have any questions, just please leave them in the comment. And thank you.